Hi guys, um, so today I have a Asda haul for you. Just a whole bunch of things which I bought over the weekend. Now I am going to be doing a Halloween swap box, um, so I'm not going to show you everything I bought just because some of the things I bought are in the actual box, but I will be showing you them before Halloween. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly apologise um, for my hair. It's been raining really, really hard in England at the moment. So I have just gone into a massive frizz ball. So please just ignore that. <laughs> so in Asda, they had a massive range of bunting this year. They're really sort of into that kind of decor. Um, and it's all one pound. So the first one I got is this one and it's just a repeated pattern of um, this pumpkin face and then it also says trick or treat and it shows you here so as you can see here it just sort of repeats um, and they are actually quite long I have got one open just to show you which is a slightly different design so I have got this one as um, an example this one is the same length however this one says happy Halloween rather than um, the pumpkin and the trick or treat pattern. Um, this bunting is, um, it's all made out of triangles which have these little sort of, I guess they're almost like hole punches through them and this uh, sort of attaches them all together which is quite a good sort of sturdy way to do it. So like um, attaching them all to um, a singular piece of string. This one just has string um, on the ends of the H and then the N at the end of Happy Halloween. And they are, as you can see, sort of like a shiny card material. They're quite thick and for a pound, this was definitely a great bargain. The stripes and the spots and just the general font of the um, writing did remind me of a carnival theme, which is something I'm really into this year. So this next um, lot of bunting also says Happy Halloween, um, but this one's slightly different. It's not um, bunting as such, because bunting, I believe, is just sort of like triangular um, flags, but these are just squares, and again, it says Happy Halloween. However, this one doesn't have a space between the Y and the H. I don't know how well it shows up, but these are actually um, glitter sort of on card, and it did sort of remind me of sort of aged paper, just because of the sort of brownie tones which have been used. And I really like the fact that they've used different patterns on each of the letters. It does give this sort of old and authentic look. It almost kind of reminds me of um, sort of scrapbooking. letters are all threaded onto one singular piece of black ribbon which goes and threads over the back of each letter. Now when I got this <laughs> I was slightly disappointed because I took it out and it said happy Halloween but it said it backwards so it was um, N E E so on. So I had to unthread all of these which wasn't too much of a problem I just had to undo the knot at here um, at the beginning and sort of take them all off and then put them all back on again so obviously it was just a slight sort of manufacturer error where they had them in a pile and they just started at the wrong end of the string um, but it it didn't take me too long it took me about five minutes but it is something to consider if you are going to buy these although they are a pound and they're very cheap maybe you don't sort of have the time and you don't want to go through the hassle of re-threading it so I'd just quickly open up the packet and just make sure that yours is correct and you don't have the same issue that I had so I did also get a lot of signs, they had a lot of these £1 signs, um, the only thing with these which I kind of noticed after I got them is they are made of card so they are really thin but I do think they're quite nice just to have sort of hung up around. So the first one I got is this glittery um, ghost and it says boo and it has a little bow tie here and then I'm just going to show you the pattern of the eye. Um, they do have this common sort of thing where they give one of the characters um, eyes, this weird little pattern. It almost looks like a cog, but it's something that I've seen sort of keeps keeps reoccurring throughout all the Asda range, so it is something to look out for. So I am a massive sucker for tinsel bats. I don't know if you can see there's one there and there's one there. <laughs> and, um, so this is my newest addition. This is a one-eyed bat and I got it because it reminded me of um, Mike Wazowski from Monsters Inc, which is one of my favourite films. Um, although it kind of looks like his weird batty Halloween cousin. Um, so again he's got a little bow tie and he's got almost this sort of cog shaped eye makeup although it is slightly more like a flower 
and then it has um, a nice sort of happy smiley face with fangs um, which I do think is very sort of kid friendly um, it's more sort of like cute spooky than sort of scary scary Halloween decorations but I think this is <laughs> great and it cost me three pounds this one so I also got this Halloween plaque which cost me three pound and this is actually solid wood so it is um, very sturdy um, at the bottom it says happy Halloween and it has a spider and a bat so again you've got this sort of odd eyed thing and one has a sort of cog around the eye so you have got a bat and a spider I do think that this bat should maybe have like a face this kind of reminds me of a bow tie but I don't know whether it's meant to be a bat sort of doing a weird smile <laughs> um, but um, if you can see the back is meant to look like a fence and it has the two characters in front and then this is all glittery I'll just show you the back it is just sort of solid and they're all glued together and it has this piece of ribbon to help you hang it up um, these are great quality there was loads of different types of ones there was ones with pumpkins there was a witch one um, but of course I went for the one with the bat on so a really common thing is these kind of not really sure how to describe them they're almost like um pom-poms but they are pumpkin themed so i got a bat one there was a pumpkin one and i believe there was a ghost and a witch one um and these were i believe they were one pound each so they're really cheap um and it's just this kind of like black pom-pom i'll just show you a bit closer it's really hard to describe but it's almost like um a cotton which has sort of been um spread out and then if you sort of look really closely you can see sort of glue within it then on the front it has these felt wings and um, sort of little bat ears and then again this eye, this cog eye which keeps reoccurring and a really happy little bat face and the thing I do really like is it does actually look like a black pumpkin which is really cute and I may actually theme my pumpkin to look like this this year I thought I was going to hang these on my Halloween Christmas tree which is basically at Christmas I like to put Halloween decorations on my Christmas tree because who doesn't love Halloween at Christmas um, so I thought that this would do nicely although it is quite big but I did get a couple of these just to sort of hang around I did also think because it's quite light I may put it in my car I don't like to put too heavier things in my car in case you know sudden breakage but these um, these are really soft so they're not really a danger hazard at all other than visibility which is something you need to consider <laughs> so this um, item is probably a better way to sort of describe this pom pom -y thing <laughs> so this again is just exactly the same style but in orange um, and obviously it's a bit bigger but as you can see it is this weird sort of felty material as you can see they do get breaks in them as well um, but it is sort of meant to be like that it does give it a really nice texture and I do think it actually makes it look like an actual real pumpkin um, again it has this cog eye thing going on and the um, the features are all just felt that are stuck on and it has a sort of a a green bit of felt that's twirled and bit in to be a stalk and this cost three pound from asda now the underneath is the only sort of disappointment which i didn't really look at when i bought it but you can see it's a little bit messy underneath um but is the underneath you're not going to see it um it does almost sort of remind me of if you open a book all the way around it does look almost like that's what they did to create this effect um, but they're really soft and they're really bouncy and it's a great little thing just to have on the side. So I always see these things um, in the American halls um, and it's basically just skeleton animals. I've always, always wanted um, the skeleton cat that's sort of like arched over in the classic Halloween cat shape. Um, and I looked online on, on Asda before I actually went and I saw that they had bought out a range of skeleton animals. And they're all rather expensive and unfortunately when I did go they were all sold out. Other than this little skeleton rat which was only £3 so it's a really good price. And they are really plasticky but they are just basically a skeleton of the animal with a fully moving head and tail. So it's quite um, simple. It does have tiny little um, screws in the bottom of the feet just to make sure that the feet are attached to the leg. And I got this for a gift for my boyfriend as I'm doing a Halloween care box um, which is basically a box full of all sort of things I know he'll like um, and I didn't have very much Halloween themed sort of props in there and he he likes rats so I thought this was a perfect little thing just to throw in to make it look a little bit more spooky 
So the next thing I found completely by chance. I found it in a little box underneath all the dressing up clothes. Um, but me being me, I just sort of like went through everything. And I found them sort of, they hadn't properly been put out. I think whoever had been in charge of the Halloween aisle hadn't really done their job properly and had just gone off. Um, and they had left all these little bobble heads in a box and there was witches, there was Frankenstein. I believe there was like a stack of pumpkins and the top pumpkin moved, but I am a sucker for anything which heads, like head bobbles around. And this was three pounds and it is sort of great quality. It feels really sturdy. It's, re it's really heavy actually. And this is a little green witch um, and she has a little hat. And again, she has this cog eye. I'll just show you slightly closer. So she's wearing this little black and purple dress with a little bow tie. And again, she has this purple cog round her eye and a glittery hat. And although you can see a little bit of sort of glue under her head, I think for the price you're paying, it's not really anything that's of any problem. Just to sort of pick off a few stray strands of glue is fine. And I think this is just a really cute thing to have on the side. When I did see them, I straight away thought, yes, I'm going to put this in the front of my car. But it is so heavy that I feel like that noise is going to get very frustrating very quickly. But it is just something really cute just to have as a little ornament on the side. So this is by far my favourite thing which I have bought not only in Asda but in all the shops I've been to this year and last year and the year before. Um, and this is a doorbell. And I have got various other sort of doorbells um, which I do have on my door which just kind of like ring and they say beware and things. But this is one which I think is really funny and I am doing an Adam's family themed party this year and I thought it would fit so nicely um, with the whole theme and I am considering having this just as my all time all year round doorbell because I just think it's so funny. I'll just show you up close. So it looks pretty regular and you press the button. It does just have this look. It's almost like, um, you know, table tennis balls. It almost kind of looks like one of those that's been painted. But I do think it's just so, <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> so this cost me £10 and it does have a little bit for removing the batteries and putting new batteries in which means as long as you don't drop it and you don't break the actual functioning inside it should last for a very long time if you can't see on the front it does say push um, to ring and it has this very old sort of crackly sort of paint look which is actually a crack in the paint I think this is sort of like do you remember the craze where it had the nail varnish that you put on top of your usual nail varnish and it used to crackle I may have one still so it is super dusty, but I did find one. It's called Instant Nail Effects Crackle Paint um, by Barry M. But it was basically this sort of like really dry nail varnish that you used to put on. And as it would dry, it would crack and give this little crackle effect, which is exactly what this um, paint on the front of here reminds me of. So again, this cost me £10, which is more on the pricey side of the things which I bought from Asda, but it was 110% worth it. I am so happy with this. I am kind of secretly contemplating buying another one in case this one doesn't work. Um, but I have I have seen them before on Tumblr and things, but I didn't think that I'd ever be able to get my hand on one, so I'm super stoked about this. <laughs> it does also give um, a... It, it does also um, say something different each time. I think there's about four different things, four or five different things it says. Um, they're all sort of like spooky tones that kind of basically say enter at your own risk or caution. On the theme of the Adams Family and moving things, things that cost £10, um, I also got this, which is a zombie hand. And it completely reminded me of Thing out of the Adams Family. Um, and if any of you haven't seen the Adams Family, firstly, you should go watch it. And secondly, um, there is a character called Thing who originally was a little pet. I have explained it a lot in my uh, my video, which is just for the Adam family. But um, in the more modern adaptations, Thing is just a hand cut off at the wrist, and he just like runs around um, and it helps out with the family. He's just part of the family. Um, 
and basically this is just what this does so it has a little yellow button at the top and you press it and the these two fingers here move and so does the thumb and the little finger and the middle finger just sort of stays still and it just drags itself across the floor so there's two different modes there's on which just means you press the button and press it to stop it and there's also a motion activated one which if you're walking around and you kind of have it under the table when someone walks past the table it will set this off and it'll go crawling across the floor so i've tried it on wood i've tried it on tile and i tried it on carpet and they all work really well because of these four little bobbles which are on the fingers which just allow it to sort of slide along and then also this kind of gives it a lot of stability having this one finger that doesn't move it is this really odd sort of like material i don't know if you can see but it is <laughs> the only way i can describe it is like a balloon like a really thick balloon that's been stretched over the actual shape of the hand um but i think this sort of rubbery feel gives it a little bit of a more sort of realistic effect i guess um because it is meant to be sort of like an old frankenstein hand that's sort of run off and gone to live its own life as a hand <laughs> next up i got some socks because who doesn't love halloween themed socks so the first pair i got i have worn these hence why they aren't in packages um they were a pound each so this i'm just gonna put them on my arm so you can see them this is the first one obviously this is where your heel goes um, and it's got little stars here and it's got a spider here and it goes up into a spider web they are quite long socks as you can see but i you can just sort of like wear them a bit further down <laughs> what am i doing <laughs> like a bit further down um but they actually are really thick i think they're actually made of cotton as well so they are very breathable and the inside does have this kind of weird sewy stuff which i know some people don't like because they can get their toenails and stuff caught on them but they're not really a problem for me and they are super soft and super warm the second pair i got are these really cool um skeleton foot ones they look really really awesome when they're both on um and it is just meant to look like a foot when you're wearing them and the bone stops at the ankle it doesn't go up the leg um and it just looks really effective um the only thing with these socks is when they are packaged they do say that they are kid socks um just ignore that um because i got size five to size seven and a half and they were actually in adult sizes they weren't for children at all um so i think they just kind of put that as kind of like a selling point but just because it says kids socks doesn't mean they have to be worn by kids. So next up I got this little cute trick or treat bag. Now I haven't been trick or treating for like four or five years because I ended up getting too old and I just got turned away and it was a massive waste of time. So now I just kind of stick to having my Halloween parties at home. But I still like to buy little trick or treat bags. Um, and I got this one because it's a bat. And again it has this little cog eye. And this is this really like squishy... Um, glittery material it's very sort of soft and inside it has a cardboard hole for putting it in as you can see from the bottom it's not really like the best make but i feel like it is strong enough to kind of hold a good load of candy so it's definitely good for purpose it has this really nice sort of sturdy handle which has a bit of plastic going through to make sure that it stays um it stays strong and this cost only three pounds so it was great value and i know they did loads of designs of these but of course i got the back one so next i got these two plaques now i did intend to put one of these in my halloween swap box but unfortunately it was slightly too big and i'm not sure if any of you have tried to send a package from england to texas but it is so expensive it kind of came to like 90 pounds um when i had the original size and weight of box which i wanted to include so i've had to cut down um a lot of sort of the bigger stuff which doesn't really matter too much because it's not really i didn't have to cut down too much of it but i just had to compact it into a smaller box and this was kind of stopping me from getting it all in the smaller box so unfortunately i had to take one of these out um but they both say keep calm and scare on and as you can see there are two different designs there's one in black and one in orange and these are in a sort of they still look like cardboard but they are very thick cardboard so they wouldn't easily sort of snap like they're not bendable at all so they are really strong and they have these two bits of string at the top for hanging them up so i may just sort of hang these in different rooms but i do still think they're a really cool design they got sort of 
they have got sort of different things on them. They've both got spiders at the top and then the spider webs are located in different places and they are sort of different shapes and these are just called spooky signs and they're a pound each which again is great value although it does all add up <laughs> as I did find when I got to the checkout. So when I went to Poundland the other day I got these popcorn boxes which um, are really cute sort of for like if you're having like a spooky movie night or something like that um, and I'm going to be doing some sort of horror film things around Halloween so I got quite a few of these and they were really cheap three for one pound and I thought I'd get some popcorn while I was at Asda for them um, so I don't know if you have these where you live but it is the best popcorn you will ever try um, and I think it's pronounced butter kissed popcorn but it's the toffee one and it looks like this and it was really cheap I think it was I think it was 50p a bag actually 50p or two for one pound something along those lines but rest assured I have already eaten one of the bags the last off I got these really cute little napkins um, I was planning to get some more um, party favours but I'm going to do that a little bit nearer to the time um, because I know that some stuff is still going out I may have gone slightly early although we're almost like halfway through October anyway so it seems a little bit pointless than putting it all out so late but oh well um, so I got these napkins which are a little skull and they're made out of all these little cute little flowers um, so it is quite girly at the same time it's quite dark and I'm not really sure how many napkins you get in here it looks about at least 10 you get in there for a pound um, and they are really cute and I will use these if not for napkins for some kind of display thing because they are really nice and they do have um, skulls on each corner of the napkin and as a little side note I just wanted to add these glasses in which I got from Poundland which I am absolutely ecstatic about um, so they're these hand painted glasses this one has an owl and a tree and a moon with some bats on it and they are these wine glasses they are proper glass as well and also this glass which is more of a sort of everyday drinking glass I really wish I'd got some more of these so I'm definitely gonna go back and see if they have any more in the stock but I will warn you now they were literally flying off the shelf when I went and that was before October even started <laughs> so it is this really nice sort of little design with it I think it's meant to be sort of like a black widow maybe not because it's got little red dots but I think it's kind of going for the same sort of color scheme I really like the little details they give to make it look a little bit like a shiny sort of big spider but for 99p or a pound these are definitely like a great investment just if you like to have sort of like spooky things all year round or just if you're throwing a Halloween party um, these are a great sort of essential I think so thank you for watching this Asda haul I hope that you um, found some of these things interesting and possibly um, it has made oh. So thank you for watching um, this as a whole. I hope you have found a few things which you like um, and possibly that you didn't spot because I do find a lot of the times when I watch these hauls that other people have done, I find loads of things which I have never seen, which I never, I didn't even spot in the shops. And if you go back and just have a little hunt, much like these little guys, if they're not, if you can't find them in your Asda, then try like looking in the boxes underneath stuff because that's where I found these. I don't know if maybe they were meant to be released at a later date but you will find some some goodies if you do just have a little rubbish around. So I'm well underway with my Halloween sort box. I can't show you any sneak previews just because I don't want to give any 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 secrets away um, for what it looks like and what's inside. But I am filming the process, so I will show you um, a video for what the box looks like, um, the things I've put in the box, and then packaging it and then also the box I received back. I'm sending it off on the 10th of October and so is the lady who lives in America so I will be showing you the unboxing process and then also my boxing up process somewhere after that probably more around the 20th um, because I don't want to upload it before she's got it in case she comes across it and everything is ruined all the surprises are ruined. And I am planning to do a couple of Living Dead doll reviews. I've got the Alice in Wonderland series. I also have some trick or treaters to show you. Um, and I do have another haul um, arranged and possibly a little bit of a room tour. Although it is still a massive mess and it's nowhere near finished. I think I'm always almost getting 
to the point where I can show you a few bits um, because I do have my Halloween decorations up all year and you may kind of get some inspiration for actual Halloween rather than maybe maybe not inspiration of how to decorate your room or your house or apartment um, but maybe just some inspiration as to how to decorate for Halloween. So thank you for watching, I'm sorry it's been quite long but I had a lot of stuff to get through. I hope you have a good week if I upload this before Saturday and if I don't I hope you have a good weekend um, and I will see you next time, bye! It was a ghost and a witch one um, and these were I believe they're one pound each so they're really cheap um, and it's just this kind of like black pom-pom, I'll just show you a bit closer, it's really hard to describe but it's almost like um, a cotton which has sort of been um, spread out and then if you sort of look really closely you can see sort of glue within it and then on the front it has these felt wings and um, sort of little bat ears and then again this eye, this cog eye which keeps reoccurring and a really happy little bat face and the thing I do really like is it does actually look like a black pumpkin which is really cute and I may actually theme my pumpkin to look like this this year I thought I was going to hang these on my Halloween Christmas tree which is basically at Christmas I like to put Halloween decorations on my Christmas tree because who doesn't love Halloween at Christmas um, so I thought that this would do nicely although it is quite big but I did get a couple of these just to sort of hang around I did also think because it's quite light I may put it in my car I don't like to put too heavier things in my car in case you know sudden breakage but these um, these are really soft so they're not really a danger hazard at all other than visibility which is something you need to consider <laughs> So this um, item is probably a better way to sort of describe this pom pom -y thing. <laughs> so this again is just exactly the same style but in orange. Um, and obviously it's a bit bigger but as you can see it is this weird sort of felty material. As you can see they do get breaks in them as well. Um, but it is sort of meant to N, E, E, so on. So I had to unthread all of these which wasn't too much of a problem I just had to undo the knot at here um, at the beginning and sort of take them all off and then put them all back on again so obviously it was just a slight sort of manufacturer error where they had them in a pile and they just started at the wrong end of the string um, but it it didn't take me too long it took me about five minutes but it is something to consider if you are going to buy these although they are a pound and they're very cheap maybe you don't sort of have the time and you don't want to go through the hassle of re-threading it so I'd just quickly open up the packet and just make sure that yours is correct and you don't have the same issue that I had. So I did also get a lot of signs, they had a lot of these one pound signs. Um, the only thing with these which I kind of noticed after I got them is they are made of card so they are really thin but I do think they're quite nice just to have sort of hung up around. So the first one I got is this glittery um, ghost and it says boo and it has a little bow tie here and then I'm just going to show you the pattern of the eye um, they do have this common sort of thing where they give one of the characters um, eyes this weird little pattern it almost looks like a cog but it's something that I've seen sort of keeps keeps reoccurring throughout all the Asda range so it is something to look out for so I am a massive sucker for tinsel bats I don't know if you can see there's one there and there's one there <laughs> and um so this is my newest addition this is a one-eyed bat and i got it because it reminded me of um mike wazowski from monsters inc which is so like um attaching them all to um a singular piece of string this one just has string um on the ends of the h and then the n at the end of happy halloween and they are as you can see sort of like a shiny card material they're quite thick and for a pound this was definitely a great bargain. The stripes and the spots and just the general font of the um, writing did remind me of a carnival theme which is something I'm really into this year. So this next um, lot of bunting also says Happy Halloween um, but this one's slightly different. It's not um, bunting as such, it's bunting I believe is just sort of like triangular um, flags but these are just squares and again it says happy halloween however this one doesn't have a space between the y and the h i don't know how well it shows up but these are actually um glitter sort of on card and it did sort of remind me of sort of aged paper just because of the sort of brownie tones which have been used and i really like the fact that they've used different patterns on each of the letters it does give this sort of old and authentic look it almost kind of reminds me of um sort of scrapbooking Well, 
letters are all threaded onto one singular piece of black ribbon which goes and threads over the back of each letter. Now when I got this <laughs> I was slightly disappointed because I took it out and it said Happy Halloween but it said it backwards so it was... Um Hi guys, um, so today I have a Asda haul for you. It's a whole bunch of things which I bought over the weekend. Now I am going to be doing a Halloween swap box, um, so I'm not going to show you everything I bought just because some of the things I bought are in the actual box, but I will be showing you them before Halloween. <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly apologise um, for my hair. It's been raining really, really hard in England at the moment, so I have just gone into a massive frizz ball, so please just ignore that. <laughs> So in Asda they had a massive range of bunting this year, they're really sort of into that kind of decor um, and it's all one pound so the first one I got is this one and it's just a repeated pattern of um, this pumpkin face and then it also says trick or treat and it shows you here. So as you can see here it just sort of repeats um, and they are actually quite long. I have got one open just to show you which is a slightly different design. So I have got this one as um, an example. This one is the same length however this one says Happy Halloween rather than um, the pumpkin and the trick or treat pattern. Um, this bunting is um, it's all made out of triangles which have these little sort of I guess they're almost like hole punches through them and this uh, sort of attaches them all together which is quite a good sort of sturdy way to do it. It's one of my favourite films um, although it kind of looks like his weird batty Halloween cousin. Um, so again he's got a little bow tie and he's got almost this sort of cog shaped eye makeup although it is slightly more like a flower and then it has um, a nice sort of happy smiley face with fangs um, which I do think is very sort of kid friendly. Um, it's more sort of like cute spooky than sort of scary scary Halloween decorations but I think this is <laughs> great and it cost me three pounds this one so I also got this Halloween plaque which cost me three pound and this is actually solid wood so it is um, very sturdy um, at the bottom it says happy Halloween and it has a spider and a bat so again you've got this sort of odd eyed thing and one has a sort of cog around the eye so you have got a bat and a spider I do think that this bat should maybe have like a face. This kind of reminds me of a bow tie, but I don't know whether it's meant to be a bat sort of doing a weird smile. <laughs> um, but um, if you can see, the back is meant to look like a fence and it has the two characters in front and then this is all glittery. I'll just show you the back. It is just sort of solid and they're all glued together and it has this piece of ribbon to help you hang it up. Um, these are great quality, there was loads of different types of ones, there was ones with pumpkins, there was a witch one, um, but of course I went for the one with the bat on. So a really common thing is these kind of, not really sure how to describe them, they're almost like um, pom-poms, but they are pumpkin themed, so I got a bat one, there was a pumpkin one, and I believe there was... 